Welcome back to Renowned Explorers, everybody. We got a lot of cool stuff going on from the last expedition. Quite a bit of status here, actually. So let's let's uh, let's have a look at the Turkish baths. See who we can't pick up for our entourage. Am I wrong in thinking the Turkish bathhouse is just like a? It's just a place where a bunch of people go to bathe, right? Or am I just delightfully ignorant in that respect? Anyway. Let's see what we got here. We got some journalists, lobbyists, merchants, students, and traders. Of course, the specialists over here as well are probably going to be who we really want to look at as far as getting some serious advantages out of these crew members. Samson the Amazing. Plus one campaign whenever you enter a nature challenge for the first time. Same here with Dynamo. If we get study bonuses, and we get plus two collect when we enter a cultural challenge. Hmm. Am I better off just going for upgraded specialists, maybe? Why would I go, yeah, why would I go for level one when I can instantly go for level two, right? That seems wise. And maybe even go for level three. We do have a lot of renown, or sorry, status right now. This is the renown. There we go. Hmm. Plus five to ten status from collect. Yeah, I think these are definitely going to be better for me, right? Maybe not. Well, I mean, they're cheaper. Hmm. Seem, seems like a lot of the time they're going to be pretty similar, but I think I'll go with these guys. We'll go with, uh, let's get some extra gold. I think getting some, some good equipment is going to help us out quite a bit. Oh, I see. So we can only get one of each. Oh, okay. That makes a difference. So we have to choose one specialist from each of these four columns. I see. We're not just going to be able to get every single one. So. What do we want to benefit from here? We're getting some extra gold already, so let's maybe look for some more opportunities to get research points, actually, because we're not getting a lot of those right now. Although, spending 250 of our status points to get one bonus to study whenever we enter a nature challenge may not be worth it, but I think I'll take the risk. Beep, beep, bop. The naturalist electromagnetics. Who? Insert character. Who will learn that? Ooh. Put this person to work instead to get a treasure hunt, or we can gain a perk for someone. Let's give that to, uh, let's give it to Harry. I don't know who my naturalist is. I don't know if I could have seen that before I chose. I might have been able to. Let's find out. If I can just click out of this. There we go. That's how we do things. Oh, he did, uh, he did not have naturalist up to that point, but neither did anybody else, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, nice. And now we could either get some more uh, status from these folks. A student would give us a little bit more research. We still have a little bit of status left over, so maybe we do... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this again. One more upgrade, and then we'll look for one of these level 3 guys next time. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, nice. Good use of the renown there. And we could... Oh, you know what? We also got to get uh, specialists from these areas. Okay, yes! There's so much to it! I'm having so much fun learning about all these new things, too. It's exciting. All right. Let's check out our research here. We don't have that much this time around, but we can get one of these, two. Now, they gain one insight every time we finish an expedition or start every expedition with one tool. I like the insight more. In fact, since we're so low on insight right now, this has probably got to be the route we have to take. We need 30 research for the next one. Okay. We'll roll with that for now. Let's see here. Oh wait, sorry, that's oh, you know what? I mistook the renown or the resolve for insight. There's so many words! Oh my goodness. But still though, that's good. It's good to get insight because we can spend the insight to gain more resources, which I really like. So that was it that was effective research. I just mistook it for something else. That's fine by me. Well look at this. We're actually getting a lot more benefit from these jobs now, too. Much more than previously. Yeah, and I think the uh, the choice here is pretty obvious. We're going to go with this one. Going to get a lot more research out of that, too, actually, and a little bit more gold as well. Very nice. Okay, let's go uh, Let's go do a little bit more research. Then, of course, we've got one level up to grab there as well. Upgrading shops costs 40% less status. Okay. I think we could also do tools of the trade here, actually, or maybe we want to go with something else. Do I want to unlock any of these other sections? We really, really ought to uh, investigate this. Scouts, uh, extra study, there's so many different ways we could go about it! Information overload is 
<laughs> completely taking over right now. Uh, more resolve is what I wanted in the first place. We could get more research after unlocking this. Yeah, let's do that. Stronger characters and gaining more from the encounters. I would very much like to get some extra resolve going at some point. So let's go that route. And now, finally, let's go buy some things. Now, let's see here. We don't have any trinkets equipped. Everything we've got right now is offensive and defensive. So if we get some trinkets, they'll give us some good bonuses. Resist damage from terrified speeches. Gain the engineer perk of advanced tools. Let's maybe do this first just so we can see what kind of bonuses we're going to get for Charles. Right mindset. Charles' group insult deals more damage when he's got a positive state of mind. Group insult's buff gives the target an additional debuff. Uh-huh. It looks like we unlock a new skill every time we go up in this rank as well. I like the debuff. Let's play that. Confirm. Nice. And there it is. Our new skill is deride. Four turn cooldown, two tile range. Target becomes enraged if it is negative. Enraged if it is negative. Not bad. Alright, still got this to do. I say we buy a monkey wrench. Get some damage resistance. I'll go with that. Make the purchase. What else we got along the uh, the trinket line? In fact, let's go ahead and just do this. There we go. Resist damage from enraged speeches. Sure. You gain the survivalist perk from this, this as well. Not bad. Okay. Let's do that, and then uh, let's get the compass to Harry, actually. Get a little bit of enraged resistance. He's looking good for his resistances, so we probably don't have to give him any sort of bonuses. It's good to have resistance across the board for everybody if we can possibly manage it. Oh, we can buy multiple ones of these, actually. So maybe we could give him one. Maybe we should look into what's going to be better for our offensive and defensive skills, too. Since the Rusty Ring only gives me one speech defense, maybe we should give him... Oh, yeah, look at that. That is much better. It's pretty cheap, too. In fact, if we want to buy three of those... So we do this, and then we can just make sure that everybody's got decent speech defense. Oh, can I not remove that? Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, no. Wait, what? You have to be able to remove that. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Maybe we can buy him back still. No? No, we can. Oh, that's right. Buyback is for when you sell them stuff. I know how things work. How in the world, though? Speaking of knowing how things work, I clearly don't understand this. Can we not swap these? Okay, why in the world would you not be able to swap those? I was gonna say, that would be the most ridiculous thing in the world. Okay, that's good. We figured out how to do that. Yeah, I really like the uh, speech defense here. I don't know if it's actually uh, your decision-making process through the course of battle of whether or not the enemies will try to use speech attacks more. But I'm willing to take a chance on it. And now do we want to give him more attack or speech power here? These, uh... What they've got going on already ain't bad. The cheap gloves obviously could be improved upon. For 75 gold, I think I'll go with maybe one more. We will sell these as well, because I know these are bad. So we'll get some extra gold this way. Bam, there we go. Let's buy, uh... Let's get... Let's get some decent gloves. I think. For one of these two. We'll give them to, uh, we'll give them to Charles. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I like this move. There we go. I just have to be very exact with how I put things in these boxes. That's the, that's the issue we're seeing now. Alright, we're finally ready, I think. We finally spent all our stuff. Let's actually go play the game now. It's much like Darkest Dungeon. There's a lot of preparation, and then you just hope that you've done enough to, uh, put yourself in a good position moving forward. Roche's Lost Treasure, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready to throw down in fisticuffs. Finally, you can start your search for Roche's treasure. The treasure once stolen from the Spanish Silver Fleet should be somewhere on this pristine and beautiful island. Harry looks at the map you got from Pinkerton to find out where. A place near a waterfall. There's a waterfall! The crew sets foot on the beautiful island and looks around. Just when Harry finds some man-made debris and realizes this island is not as uninhabited as you first thought. You've got company. Smugglers! They come rushing toward you. Our secret island has been discovered. We've got to silence them, mates! It seems they will leave you no choice. We start this with a rank 2 encounter. Wow. Well, okay then. 
see how we fare perhaps with our new skills. Something I realized about Piercing Shot, it gains power when I don't use it. If I'm reading that correctly, gains 25% power each turn while off cooldown. Which is the situation right now, so I think I'm gonna hold off on using that immediately. And see if it doesn't get a lot better later on in the round here. Although this probably isn't gonna be when I use it. Considering, uh, well, it looks like there might only be three people in this fight. Uh, can I reach her? I can. And I could also shift the, uh, the mood of battle here. See how that works out. Alright, they are aggressive. We are stronger if we are friendly, but unfortunately that is not really our skill set right now. See, that does not at all look like it's going to be that effective. We see the devious play is going to be pretty damn good, but the aggressive move is actually going to be dominant right now. Yes sir. yes, sir! Indeed! I did like his hair, though. That was cute. Alright. Well, let's see here, then. That's going to do it for our turn. How will she counter? She's kind of gotten funneled into a one-on-one uh, -on -one bout against Harry. Which actually might not be good for us. Let's see. So if we go with Enrage, it's pretty good. Seems like, uh... Yeah, we still gotta do go with Devious, I guess. Oh, damn! Yeah, wow, look at that. Very strong attack. And I think I can hit it with the Friendly from this range and uh, finish... Finish the job. Nice. Alright. Not bad. The friendly approach. Gathered two encounter tokens. Bia is pleased with our diplomacy. With the smugglers out of the way, your crew has enough time to hide the boat and start exploring the island. Sadly, it seems that this island is a smuggler's hideout. Naturally. Ooh, speaking of naturally. It's a nature challenge. What an enormous tree! Climbing it might reveal information about this island, but you need to be quite the athlete to climb it. Ooh, Bia has a 51% chance. Oh, you know what? I just realized we should have leveled up before this. Sound of a gun. Alright, we'll take the coin flip. Am I gonna get it? Oh, yes! The climb is successful from the top of a cam canopy. Bia studies the surroundings. A couple of studies and a collect. Beautiful. All right, let's go. So let's go from an upgrade here. Soldier of Fortune, gain one collect when resolving a battle aggressive, or gain an extra attack on Bia's normal attack with 50% attack. That's too many things. It's so confusing. Don't get a new skill here, unfortunately. We're unlikely to go aggressive, so I think I got to take Reign of Blades. An extra attack on her normal attack. That's that's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. Harry's charge shot will shoot in a cone instead of a line. That's really nice. Uh, charge shot gains 20% power each time it penetrates an enemy. I like the cone. I like not having to be precise, even though it is very easy to do so in a game of this n nature. Hmm. 60% attack power and 80% speech power until the end of the next turn. That's pretty huge. You know what? I'm going to go penetrating shot, actually. I've made the argument against my initial argument, and I've succeeded. I would be I would be excellent at debate club if the only competitors were me against myself. Let's try out the nature challenge though. The ruins of a native village. The crew is curious about the details of its history, but Harry is cautious. Not a very good chance across the board here. If we fail, we lose two supplies, so I'm gonna go ahead and not try this. Harry doesn't trust the situation and holds back on a full-fledged investigation. From a distance, Cruz is still able to learn something, but the history of the village remains a mystery. Fine with that. Resources can be gained here, or a technique challenge. I don't know, I don't know about this one. Kind of liking the way this looks over here. I also want to check out the village. That just looks like it's going to be interesting by itself. Research to be found. I think I'll go with the treasure. Put us in a more central area. What an amazing find! In the deep of the jungle, you find the elusive hundred year fruit. The low hanging fruit takes more than a hundred years to grow to this size. Surrounding the fruit is a barrel of monkeys performing a ritual never witnessed before. You could just take the fruit to safety, but a naturalist might be interested to study the monkey's ritual. 53%. 
the risk of losing the fruit, or we just take the treasure and probably get attacked by monkeys. So I'll take the coin flip again at the risk of being assaulted by primates here, and that sucks. During the monkey ritual, Harry, Harry failed to notice that the monkeys were pulling the hundred-year fruit loose. The fruit smashes down, destroying it. And the monkeys seem overjoyed with the splash. To add insult to injury, some cheeky simians steal the large seed of the fruit and the papers Harry wrote the research on. Just to spite us. Well, I'm gonna go take a gamble over here now, I guess. They find the perfect material to improve some gear for this expedition. Could also just study it for later, right? Yeah, I gotta go with that. We are not, unfortunately, uh, well equipped to... ...to deal with the challenges we've been met with thus far. Tell you what, though. Ooh, there's an epic encounter here. Oh, boy, that seems interesting. I am definitely gonna go this way. I'm hoping that this is gonna be the, uh... No, it is not. I was hoping for the hidden one. No dice, though. Let's see. We have a... Alright, one of these guys or gal, I believe, is a naturalist. Survivalist. We have one naturalist, but we have two survivalists. So we're doing okay as far as that's concerned. Couple of nature challenges. You know what? We'll go around here. I might make my way over to that epic encounter. Making some discoveries while exploring. Harry often asks someone to keep their eyes open for such discoveries. Do we take another 50% chance or do we go for a study? I think I'm gonna take the coin flip here. We don't lose out on too much. Oh boy. It's going dead center in the skull too, just to make sure I know I failed. Nothing. No benefit. Alright, let's try this out. Passing through the Caribbean jungle, Bia spots a rundown tree house. You arrive at the tree where the house is built. It looks abandoned and the only way up is in an old decaying ladder. Climbing it seems the only way of reaching the treehouse, but if someone falls, you might lose resolve, so you decide to let only one person up. Well, Harry's got an extremely good chance. If I fail this, I'm just gonna be really, really sad! Ah! Oh, thank you! You are standing inside the treehouse, which is indeed abandoned. There is quite a big pile of rubble, a rug, and a small window. You also spot two wanted posters, one of a guy and one of a woman. Both are in Spanish. Well, I can't speak Spanish, so I'm glad the posters aren't, a, aren't an option. Let's examine the rug. While doing so, Harry notices some sort of small safe beneath the rug. Yeah! A danger sign is painted on the door of a safe. 100% chance to succeed. Inside the safe is a small box full of jewelry. Nice! Hey, look at that! Very good result that time. Quite a big pile of rubble, a rug in a small window. Let's go for the rubble this time. A skeleton lying underneath. It seems to be a sailor from the Spanish fleet who had been hiding there, but he's holding on to something. A romantic letter addressed to his girlfriend. Some of these lines would melt even a frozen heart. The letter mentions him and the girl hiding together in this house, but one day the girl never came back from gathering food. Harry memorizes some of the romantic lines which could be useful in campaigns. Nice. Alright, just the window left. Clear view of the surroundings, okay. That's it. Oh, well, well done then. Tells the others and shows them the precious jewelry. Charles stares at the beautiful jewel and wonders why and who the inhabitant of this treehouse was hiding them from. Valid question. Now. Do I dare go for this epic encounter and hope that we maybe get some supplies as a result? Because we'll be down to two, one, and then zero if I try to go around this way. So I'm kind of worried I won't be able to. In fact, it looks an awful lot like I won't be able to. But I'm so tempted to take the risk that I think I'm going to do it even though I know it's probably a terrible idea, but I just want to see. As you walk through the jungle, you spot a big shadow jump away further into the woods. It looks big and intimidating. That big shadow. Well, I didn't come here just to say no at this point. You start the hunt and soon you find out what the shadow was a titan ape! What a magnificent and rare creature! The crew disrupts his meal and he's not pleased about it. He quickly leaps toward Harry to deal the first blow. Harry takes the blow before the encounter begins. That's no fun. Okay, let's see. Titan ape befriended. Titan ape subdued. Titan ape subdued. Hmm. 
Can we be friendly? We gotta be devious. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. Few monkeys. Holy cow, he's got a lot of health. And Harry's spirit has already dwindled. Oh boy. So tell you what. I think I'd like to move Harry away from the battle. I don't know how far his piercing shot's gonna go. But let's go like this. And uh, I guess focus here. I'd really like to make Harry's piercing shot very effective off the start. Now, as far as everybody else is concerned. We know being devious is going to be very effective, so what if we were to do this? Let's go ahead and take this and deride the Titan Ape. It's going to do very little. Becomes enraged, heals the user's spirit by 50% of the damage inflicted. That's pretty damn good. Maybe I should save this and keep it off of cooldown. And instead, I could go for the group insult. Which unfortunately cannot hit every single one of them. Might have been able to if I positioned myself differently, but, uh... Is this worth it, too? Gains power while off cooldown, so I can hold off on that one as well if I, if I want. And maybe just go for the individual target with Devious here. That does, like, nothing at all. Oh, my goodness. Still, I think... Oh, he's immune! Whoa! Is that a one-time thing? I don't know. How do I... Okay, that's something I don't understand clearly, is how I know whether or not they're immune to an attack. I think I need to pay a little bit more attention to see if I can't, uh... decipher that. And I'd like to not target the minions here. Kind of not left with a choice. At least he's despaired! Okay, and that's our turn. I hear a rumble in the jungle. Calling more monkeys, maybe. How effective is this going to be? Not too bad, okay. Can live with that. How's Bia looking? Uh -huh. and unfortunately, you are still alive and you are hurting a bit. Oh boy, okay. So now... Now I think we go for this. Let's go for that piercing shot. I can hit both of them, maybe? Yeah, there's that. Hits one target before it hits the Titan Ape. Let's go for that. Alright, there's one down. Decent damage. Not too bad there. Oh my goodness, I am... Pretty damn worried about this. Oh, you know what? That is pretty good. Let's go for that. Mia is a uh, physical attack-centric character, so I really should be utilizing that more. Hmm. Now, do I want to go with group insult? Try to hit this monkey as well? Or do I want to try for the deride? Looks like he will be affected by this now. I think if I can take his attitude down, that's going to be very, very helpful for me. All right, there's a little bit of healing as well. Okay. We're feeling better. Bia might be dead if she gets targeted. Holy Jesus! Wow! Oh my god. Maybe I should have expected that. Oh, more monkeys coming. Okay, that's what's going on with that. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for escapes right now, clearly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this guy down. Oh man. Um. Well, tell you what. We should probably revive... Charles here. Without resolve, though, I am in bad shape. Alright, this is boosted. Do we go with this now, or do I just go with this straight-up Terrify? Terrify does not work on this guy. That's what we know. Okay. What are our better options? Do I just want to attack him? Actually, this looks like it might work. Hold on a second. Maybe that's the- oh, you know what? That might be the whole thing! It's trying to convince me of that early on, and I'm ignoring it! That this is the whole point! To maybe just try to befriend him! 
Is he stunned? Because that would be terrific. Nope, he's not. Oh, he's definitely not. Yeah, he's still very angry. Oh, good lord. And there's still a little monkey there, too. Thank you for fumbling that. I've got a little bit of a choke, uh, choke point going on here, though. So that's kind of advantageous. All right, we're going to bring Charles back. Do we just try? You know what? I seriously think i got to go this route. I don't know if there's a point at which he just decides to join me apart from losing all of his spirit. We've lost 30 armor. And he's stronger this way, but this is the... Oh my goodness, there's so much to think about here. Clearly, he gets a huge advantage to his aggression if we're friendly, but we're dealing so much more damage with the friendly attacks. And that's the one that is different from everything else. Hmm. There's so, so many ways to approach this. I think I'm sticking with this. And we're not likely to succeed. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're dead this turn. Without the extra resolve, that might be, uh, that might be enough to break us. He's still targeting Harry in the back here, too. Alright, got a couple of monkey pals. See if we can't stay alive through this. If the Titan Ape doesn't take a turn, we might actually be okay. And apparently there's a possibility that that could happen. Oh my god, but all these monkeys. This is insane. Alright, so we gotta hit him with everything now, right? We have to. We have to try. Try to make you happy, buddy. Yay! Smiles! It's so wonderful. How effective is that? Still, well, you know what, actually, this is a little bit stronger. I know, like, this should be the strongest, but... Right? It should be. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so pathetic and helpless. This still isn't gonna be enough. But I still try it, right? I still try it. Yeah, we are... we are completely... I mean, I, I... okay, here's the thing, is I recognize that I'm putting myself in a terrible position by continually using these friendly attacks. That is gonna be the match, by the way. Resolve has been broken. Maybe we'll try, you know what, okay. This is the encounter here. And we can't get out of it. So I might be boned. So let's, uh, let's approach this and entirely take the, uh, the opponent's attitude into consideration. So we have to be devious, right? This is a much different structure here, actually. Tell you what, though, hold on. What if we did this? What if we move Charles back? We went friendly again. He can just move around here. I was going to say I can try to force the uh, uh, Titan Ape to just hang out right here, but that's clearly not going to happen. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I I don't think I should have gotten into this encounter. I think that's the big, big, business, big mistake thus far. But I do feel I have a better understanding of how things are working out now. So let's stick with Devious, I guess. We don't need to use that one yet. We'll use Group Insult here, actually, because this is a pretty good situation to do it. And it should, yeah, it has a small effect on him. And now it's going to shift, so we should, yeah, there we go. There's our bonus from being devious. So now let's see if we can keep this up. We can't target him, so we can take down the monkey. If we can't hit him with anything devious, then how do we alter his... Hmm. He's already mad. There's so many variables. That's not going to work. The aggressive attack will kill the monkey. And I can still use that because I know it's only a tally. And I can probably switch the mood fairly quickly after that. But this is going to be a kill, I think. Alright, he takes his turn to go for the pride boost, I guess is what you would call that. Bia, I think, is going to have to be taking down the monkey friends, even though they don't make a huge difference. 
I still just can't use that, can I? So tell you what, let's go like this. Use our piercing shot. What am I doing here? What's going on? Knock this off. Harry! Oh, he's next to a character. Oh, darn it. All right. All right, we'll focus up here. That's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. Charles. Buddy. Dost thou care to be devious again? It works. Reduces him just a smidge. And Charles is healed now. And now for Bia. The aggressive attack. The terrify likely will do nothing for me. How about we go with this, actually? Yeah, the unnoticeable attack actually works really well here. It prevents the, uh... The armor shred. From the aggressive position of the Titan Ape. Okay, that worked pretty well. How is he healing every turn? Oh my god. I might just be purely outmatched here, which is unfortunate. It was my curiosity that got the best of me, I suppose. Oh, shoot. Half spirit damage from enraged characters, I see. Yeah, I don't think I got much of a chance of moving up here and trying for a victory. Oh, you know what? I think it was just sitting in this space that was giving him health back. That kind of makes sense. Okay. We got Charles back. What if we were to sit in these spaces? What if we just occupy all of this? I wonder if that would work. All right, he can't be terrified. Oh, we can't actually reach him from there. Let's use a friendly attack just to deal some damage. I can spare that. And uh, leave that be, perhaps. Oh, we can heal him as well. Yes. Bolster spirits a bit. Give that a whirl. And we are out. What's your play now, bud? What you got, Titan Ape? Not a kill! Okay! That changes things. That changes the way I see this matchup. Now, if I can get Charles to kill this monkey and put Bia in this spot... Assuming it provides me the benefit I think it does. Yeah, it absolutely does. Well then... Again, the tide of battle has turned. And that's a pretty significant bonus standing in these tiles as well. Let's see. We're gonna go, uh, I tell you what, we're gonna go with Charles first. I can take this monkey down and then hopefully Bia can actually move into that position and then maybe be able to heal from this point. She can't move there just yet, but she can move over here and uh, help out Charles a little bit. All right, that's fine by me. We'll call that good. Devious abilities get more power because we're hostile. So many variables. Oh, but there's a monkey kill on Bia. That stinks. Oh, that's no good for us. I think they're using their devious abilities as well here. That might be what's going on with this. All right, I think we have to bring Bia back, even though it's unfortunate that we forced into that position. We are with Charles right now. Let's spend the revive turn. Uh, Harry does need to go with Enrage again, I think. We'll do that. And then hopefully Bia can just... do something. Do something valuable. I guess since she doesn't die from the Titan Ape attack, at least it's not a guaranteed death. We can maybe put her right adjacent to it and then try this out. Oh, her Terrify isn't going to do anything, though. We can do the unnoticeable attack again. Yeah, sure. Works for me. We're dealing damage. We're just taking a lot more than we're dealing. That's the only thing that sucks. Please don't die. Oh, my God. Wow. He's alive, and now he's dead. Yep. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, all right. Classy crook Harry Walker was attacked and traumatized in Suicide Island by the amazing Titan Ape. Well, shoot. I don't think there's a way I'm going to be able to retry this encounter and succeed, so... 
Looks like we might be starting off with a new crew next time. But I've tried to, uh, no, I've definitely realized there's a lot more here to renowned explorers than I initially gave it credit for, and I'm trying to pick up the pieces here as I go, and I'm trying really hard to get, uh, to accrue the knowledge necessary to push on in this one. So I think we'll try to start out with a new crew next time. And, uh, use the, use the resources and knowledge I've accrued over this, these past three episodes, I suppose. Hopefully we'll do better. I think we'll do better. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.